Hey guys, it is me Stace. I am back again today with another Toddler Tuesday video. And today's project, we are making this really fun and simple clay pot wind chime. It's just a clay pot and some little pony beads on string. All right, so the first thing you will need is a clay pot. We get these from Walmart. I then squirted some green paint and white paint in these little containers. And we're gonna be using our fingertips to make the butterflies. So I'm gonna go into the green with my finger, kind of dab it off a little bit. And you're almost creating like an X. Okay, so it looks like that. I'm gonna do a few of them around. If this is too hard for the little ones, they can do um, like a ladybug, a caterpillar, just their fingerprints in general. They could also do um, hearts. We did that before, like a little heart bookmark. We made those using our fingers. Okay, just like that. Probably one more right here. So you only need like a little bit of paint. Okay, so we have those. I'm going to take a rag and wipe my finger off. We're going to let that dry and work with the beads. I just have this little package of pony beads and I have them all on a in a little container here. And I went ahead and cut some twine down. You want to cut it long enough. It's probably a good three feet. And I have two done. So this one here is done and this one. And I have, I want to say like 40 beads on this one and 30 on that one. So I'm going to do, go ahead and do our third one. So you want to start off with a good chunk. Tie a knot at the end. It's always better to have more than less. Just make the knot big enough so the beads won't fall through. And now we're just gonna string the beads on. I just have these little wooden beads. These are actually older um, from the birds that we used to have. Uh, you kind of use it as a stopper. And then just thread your beads on. Really nice calming activity for the little ones. Great for counting, great for recognizing colors. They can make a pattern. They can hang little wind chime in their room. Great for a teacher gift, a grandparent gift, for the porch, really anywhere. I'm not counting. What do I have here? Three, six, seven, eight. 10. And if this gets um, difficult to thread through. You can always put a piece of tape on it. You can also use shoestrings. You can get, you know, you can get them at the dollar store as well. They might be easier for the little ones because they have that plastic piece at the end. Now we're done this. We're going to go back in and decorate our butterfly and finish off our pot. You wanna do the pot first, so it allows the paint to dry. I'm gonna cut some of that off. It's kinda of getting frayed at the end. And you can do this while watching TV. Great for a group activity too, for a group craft. So when it gets kind of frayed, I just go in there and cut it off a little bit. We got the pony beads from Walmart, so I'm not sure if like the Dollar Tree or Dollar General would sell them, but they weren't expensive. And a whole lot come in there, and you only need maybe just a few per strand. Let's see how many we got on here. Okay, I think that's going to be about okay. I'm just going to set this aside. All the pony bees just went flying. Did you hear that? All right, now we're going to come back to our butterfly. He's not quite dry. I can see some wet on him. So I'm going to take my finger and just kind of dot it a little bit to help it dry a little bit. Just where there's like a big puddle 
of paint. Okay. All right, so while that's dry, we're gonna take the white paint. You can use whatever color you like, any pencil eraser. And we're gonna come in here, dip our pencil eraser in, and then just kind of put dots at the end on the rim of the pot. Sorry about that, guys. I had a big room on my, on my camera card. All right, so we're going to keep on going with our pencil eraser. I'm dabbing it off a little bit. You can also use their fingertips here as well. They can do different colors. Whoop. Okay, so we have all that done. I'm gonna set that aside. I'm gonna take a black marker. Now we're gonna draw the center part of our butterfly. Okay, just like that. Just be careful you don't get paint on your fingers. Draw the antenna. Okay, so there's one done. We'll make this guy go this way. I'm just making the center area a little bit fatter. And then draw the antenna on there. And this one. So there's all kinds of shapes you can make with the fingers. They can do, because of the butterflies, they can do hearts, caterpillars, ladybugs. Okay, so we got all those done. Now I'm going to take more of that white paint. This time I'm going to go in with a pencil, just a pencil point, and we're going to create little dots on there. Just going to decorate the butterfly a little bit. Again, I'm dabbing off some. That's cute. Really fun too. Like I said, it's very relaxing. They can do all kinds of things with their beads. They can make them a pattern. They can do one row all one color, the second row a different color. They can make them patriotic by just using red, white, and blue beads. our last butterfly right here. This side and then we're done. If you want to, they can also draw little um, flying trails. Okay, so that is all done. We're done with the paint. Set this guy down. Like I said, I'm gonna live right there. All right, now we have our beads. I'm going to bring all these guys together, all three of our strands. And then we have this one here. Just get them all down to where all the beads are the same length. Okay, so there's my three strands. I do want them to be kind of different, so I'm going to have them go like that. And just take this, you're going to tie a knot. So we're just basically tying all three strands together and you want to have them tied where they're not close to the beads. Okay, just like that. You want the knot to be big enough to where it's not going to go through the hole in the bottom or the top now of our pot. Keep on tying a knot towards it's big enough. 
That's why you want to have plenty of string. Nobody will see this because it's going it's to go inside the pot. Okay, I think that's pretty good. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to take the strands, kind of fold them in half, make it easier to thread through our pot. Just like that. So we have all three strands out now. So now we pick it up. You can see there, our knot is way in the top and the beads when they hit the pot is what makes the wind shine. Now at this point, you're just gonna tie a loop. I'll make a loop large enough. Now we're gonna tie the loop into a knot. That way they can, it can be hung outside or in their room. Okay, so we have our knot. You only need one knot for the top. Go ahead and cut off the extra string you have. And there you have it. Super cute wind chime. How darling is that, right? And guys, there you have it. Today's the little craft. Any questions at all, please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.